It's Christmas Eve and uh, back walking on the stairs today just to uh, go up and grab the uh, fantastical tree house and hopefully I can finish building it today. So back to uh, building this fantastical tree house today. Yesterday just took a break because uh, we really want to catch up some um, TV series. First, the uh, Marvel Studios. What if I'm a Marvel fan? So that's something that I've been looking forward to and it was pretty good. And also started watching uh, the new uh, Percy Jackson, is it? <laughs> Percy Jackson's uh, t TV series. So was a fan of the original, well, not original, but the, the movies back in, well, back in the days anyway. But yeah, so it wasn't like really good movie. This, it was still entertaining. Um, so it's always uh, my interest to actually, you know, watch the uh, reboot TV series. But anyway, back to Lego set. And today starting with uh, Back 10, which has the uh, minifigure that I really want. Uh, and, and the main reason uh, I, I bought this set. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, get all the stuff out and start building. So Back 10, just right here. I just went back and... Uh, it's only 10, 11, 12, and 13 to go. Um, hopefully, I can get everything done today. Uh, because tomorrow is Christmas, and uh, the plan is to have a family barbecue, um, but not necessarily uh, spending time with Lego. And again, maybe after that, we we'll just sit back and, and continue to watch TV because uh, the Marvel Studio What is kind of released daily. With a new episode throughout um, the end of December. And yes, the episode was pretty good in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I can't, can't wait to build this mini figure because it looks really cool, to be honest. You know, sometimes with Lego, the, the bad guy's mini figure usually looks much more cooler uh, compared to the uh, good guy's. But whether it's good guy or bad guy, it really depends on where you stand, you know. You know, the story itself, the protagonist often uh, is depicted as the good guy. But, well, if you look at the same story again, but put yourself in another perspective, then suddenly the good guy can turn into the bad guy. But, oh. It's a nice printed piece. It's always nice to get, you know, printed piece instead of stickers. As you know, I have shaky hands and already have like a few mistakes, uh, kind of applying stickers. Um, yeah. And, uh, usually from every day, not every day, but every time I talk video like this, there are often some clips that I want to just clip out and, and upload in various, uh, platforms. Uh, unfortunately, last one, the video didn't really have um, anything to, to clip out that uh, looked or sound interesting. Which means, <laughs> or it's an indicator that the previous video, although I was enjoying building the treehouse, but likely the overall video or the top itself um, is a bit boring. <laughs> That that's what I think. Um, I mean, there are actually some talk quite interesting, but it's like if I clip it out, unless I have a huge following, um, those opinions kind of like, you know, it's hard to get pushed out and it's not like really about um, building Lego. Uh, because I want to keep, I mean, I want you to do this video. Uh, kind of expressing, you know, my opinions and also kind of share the joy of me building Lego. But, you know, some of the opinions, it's not Lego related because I talk a lot of stuff. And especially with the shots, right, I want to keep this channel mostly focusing Lego. And if I post something that is totally unrelated, um, it wouldn't get pushed out. Uh, yeah, as simple as that. And this is a really cool mini figure, and I think you know when I do the close look at this set, I can uh, talk about this in more detail. But it has a very cool um, head with an eye. You know, this eye, although it's yellow, I'm not sure if you have been playing the Legend of Zelda: The uh, Tears of the Kingdoms, but 
you know, it kind of reminds me the the boom hands. Uh, if you have played the game, you know what I'm talking about. And those are quite terrifying um, during the gameplay. And uh, yeah, the first time I encountered, I already, you know, online people kind of talk about it. That oh, yeah, it's terrifying. But you know, first time I run into one because I wasn't expecting it, and then the whole, you know, sound effects and and the whole situation just. And the way that they move, it gives us moving freaking fast. <laughs> that actually you know, gave me some chills. Even, you know, I talk about, you know, I kind of have a lot of chills down uh, my spine. Uh, anyway, um, so it's Christmas tomorrow. And then, of course, you know, the next day it's going to be Boxing Day after Christmas. Uh, there are lots of Boxing Day sales. Um, but compared to, you know, like, let's say five years ago, Boxing Day sale is usually not really that interesting to me because often now it's like it's still 15 or 20% of, of, you know, typical Lego sold. It used to be like, you know, 25, 30%. That's actually a pretty good deal. But, you know, if it's just 15, 20%, you often get those throughout the year so uh, there's no point uh, plus i'm running out of you know funds or spare money that i could you know spend on lego so it's not like oh yeah i can splash out on this or this set uh, there are a couple of sets i really want of course the, the, the big ones but you know some of the typical from city theme or other theme the couple of them I quite want. Uh, what, what, what? I think it's quite one. This, that's this is a bad sentence. Or a couple of things on my wish list, I should say. That is going to retire pretty soon. So, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> I can sell some of the the set I'm sets I'm trying to sell, and uh, get some funds to uh, get those sets in. He has a pretty cool brick build weapon. Uh, I think it's some kind of crossbow. Um, yeah, so I think I've got the angle of the spike. Kind of. Anyway, I, I, I mean, that's fine, you know. Lego, right? It's like, if you build something, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that, that's the whole thing of, you know, creating your own stuff. So even though I'm not creating my own creation, but sometimes, hey, I, I just have to kind of take it easy and, and let it be because that's the uniqueness right even though i'm building a stock set that everybody is building build everybody is building uh but um it still have my own style in it and this minifigure is absolutely stunning in my opinion um maybe i should consider buy it you know, these this parts are actually available on Take a Break right now. So if you just want to get the minifigure but not getting the set, just hop, hop in on uh, the Lego Online, you go to Take a Break, and you can find the pieces. Not right now. This is the uh, it's standard piece. So it's kind of in the holiday period. Once you get back to probably late January, then you can start place orders on those parts again. Um, unfortunately, if you're living in New Zealand like me, the... Uh, you know, it's not economical just to buy one of the figures. So hopefully, you've got like other unique part, parts um, that you would like to get, <laughs> and then you can get those uh, mini figures. Or if you have a friend, or if you're in a community with you know people that you you can trust, then you might want to do a big order and and uh, kind of split the shipping if you want. And this is another interesting mini figure with that little body for some dreamlings that introduced in this Lego dream scheme that like this big size mini figure head. They first use it um I think in, in Xenos uh, in a Marvel set. And uh it's actually pretty cool to be honest. And then it's a cool well not cool but well I don't know. <laughs> I I really need to work on it wordings and, and, and stuff um, I think I'm, I'm getting better but these are not something that you could just switch and you know 
improve overnight. <laughs> it takes some practice. Um, and I don't really want to write a script because you know I write in script then for me it's a lot easier to talk without script because it's a bit more natural. Typically, back then when I was doing some uh, movie reviews, uh, still on my channel if you want to go and check it out. So movie reviews usually I make notes and kind of write the sentence and kind of try to read it out. Uh, but no matter how hard I try, I mean the. When I read it out, there's still the tone and, and, and kind of feed what I try to describe, but it just feel weird. It's, um, it's not just about, you know, talking. If you write something in a script, like how you deliver the dialogue, how you actually narrate something, um, it's totally different. It, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's just a thing that, hey, every time I try to read something, right? And, and, um, um the delivery just doesn't like at least me personally when i look back at i just struggle to to uh accept the the, the fact that it, it was a good delivery it, it's not like hey it wasn't clearly spoken it's just just not right you know uh, and that can happen um and i'm struggling to find a piece again so that's what happened when you have so many black pieces um or like generally like the same color all on the table um i think black one is still okay i think the worst one um is a mixture of the dark and light gray and and then the, the bill itself kind of have a mixture of the same elements but with different colors because sometimes the instruction book look really bad at you know distinguishing uh the color and it kind of slowed the whole process down um and and this view is not building you know parts of the building is building uh one of um the, the creature um and uh i'm really slow with the moment even though that it's not much um, um, to view um, or, or left over, but if I'm not able to progress to finish this today, I, I don't know. I, um, yeah. And I have an idea on you know, what I'm going to upload on Instagram or on shorts. Um, not necessary to do with what I'm building. Uh, it's not something that I'm that keen to do, but you know, there are lots of video people just uh, kind of reacting to lots of um, other smaller clips. Uh, but I, I don't want to do that. Like, I would like, you know, it's kind of a recent trend because all my social media kind of feeding me those type of video. Um, but maybe I can do one with Lego, but I'm not going to react to existing clips or things. Um, just because I don't want to get into like, you know, those trouble or, you know, the hassle of, uh, is, is this content, um, not like being flat as not original or something like that. It's just, you know, a hassle, right? It was supposed to be, you know, this itself supposed to be relaxing, and and the whole getting video out is also supposed to be relaxing. Cause this is not my job. This is not something that I want to work full time. Nor I want to, you know, move into full time. It's just not something I'm interested in. Um, but you know, this is supposed to be part of the hobby. But itself, just you know, building Lego is me. Hey, look, you know, this is how I enjoy and hopefully find um, the group and community that share the same thoughts. Is you know, when I look at you know a lot of video, like I do like, you know, uh, well, I wouldn't say like, but 
um, kind of respect people that have the talent um, to build big Lego city layout or have their own uh, unique creation. I mean, you just look at it and appreciate you know those creation, but it doesn't necessarily my thing. It's like, oh yeah, I look at it. yeah, it's pretty nice. But it's not like oh yeah, I, you know, I want to join the uh, discussion on how how you do things. My to me, it's more like oh yeah, this set looks pretty cool or something that I can buy and also experience. Not that. I don't want to create my own thing. It's just, you know, if I want to create my own thing, it's probably going to be small. Like, you know, I don't have the same space and, and resource, no time, <laughs> um, get something huge, right? So it's like, hey, you know, this is what I have. This is how I enjoy it. If, if I have, you know, the time or especially like in, in the upcoming, um, year, um, 2024 or beyond, um, this is like, you know, very tight budget ahead. So I need to cope with not able to, you know, get some of the sets I want and definitely need to, um, reduce, um, my spend on, on Lego, which means, you know, even the contents on this channel is going to change quite drastically. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm, hey, you know, this is a new, new set uh, that I bought or something like that. So at some point, you know, if I want to continue to enjoy um, you know, Lego, then, you know, I have to kind of utilize the stuff that I have and figure out how I could uh, use it what is my hobby? Uh, what is um, you know? I don't know. Like, not necessary for content, but yeah, I really don't know what are the words to describe that. What I'm trying to say, but you probably know what I mean. But it just means that hey, these are the stuff that I have. You know how can I? Oops. My wife just came back from her party, but I'll carry on. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And it's just taking a long time for me to create this stuff. Unfortunately, hmm? see Continue to view my Lego sets with some lock here. Anyway, but yeah, you know, next year so I'll have to uh, figure out new ways to uh, enjoy this uh, expensive hobby. You know, my wife's just uh, a bit worried that she's interfered with my recording but you know it's fine i don't really mind the, the whole point is to have this like unfiltered uncut uh it is what it is um but you know i also try to not capture you know people other than me into the videos you know that's one reason i don't want to take video outdoor just not that i don't want to share but you know there are lots of things <laughs> like you can't just go i mean people do this but for me right personally try to you know it will require some heavy editing if if i want to blur the background and you know need to uh, hide all the faces that i you know it wasn't my intention to capture other people's faces but if you like walk in the public places then you know you're gonna capture some someone in the background um so yeah We'll, we'll see what happened. Um, I have no intention to go to the Lego store on uh, the first. Uh, there's something that I want to buy and I can afford. But the good thing is, if you have following my community post, that you would have seen, oh yeah, the new Chinese New Year sets uh, 
kind of already pop up online uh, and with a very very decent discount. So originally the plan is like, I need to go to the leather store to uh, get that set. Uh, is you know the Chinese New Year sets reviews is uh, one of the uh, the most popular video on my channel. Believe it or not. Um, so, you know, my budget will be prioritized in buying those sets. Um, so don't be surprised, you know, after this uh, video, there's still some time before it arrives. Um, so I might, you know, start building another set, but then might ab not abandon it, but kind of take a break from what I'm building and then switch to build the Chinese New Year one. This, uh, I don't know. It's just you know those are. I really like those. You know I have the uh, cultural background, so I guess when building those or talking about um, those set, you might or the audience able to feel my enthusiasm, and uh, that's actually quite important. Like if if you you know try to make a video for the sake of it, rather than hey, you really want to do it. I mean, I do want to be in this, but you know, if it's something that hey, you're passionate about, like it does sound different. Even though like the delivery might not be um, perfect, but you kind of get the uh, passions. It's like you know, English is not my native language, and I also um, you know have experience working abroad uh, in an environment that. You know the the language is totally um, different, and you know like the etiquette or, or grammar and all this stuff is important, but not as important as you know express your true self. So even though like grammatically it may be wrong, um, but when you kind of communicate um, passionately then people actually feel it um so you know you get a different connection than just talking about usual stuff so yeah um that that would be my priority uh once it's arrived i'll try to um oops i don't want that to face this way but yeah just go go back to the chinese thing separate there Ah, I think I just messed up. I'll use the other one because I, I see the holes on the surface. Just uh, me being me. Um, but yeah, um, really want to uh, have the uh, Chinese New Year set things up. Uh, of course, the building video and also the actual review. Um. You know, it's always the thing. Um, if you got some some sets, right, that is not yet available in, in another country, and then um, you you be the first real person to upload a video on that, like naturally YouTube push it out a lot more because people searching for it, and there's no content, and you know, I get really high heat uh, on on those video. Uh, unfortunately, the Chinese media set. Has become quite popular, I would say, um, and uh, Lego starts to uh, sending those early to to, to the ambassadors. Um, so you know, the last few years, although I was not the first one to upload, but still quite early, so I do get some organic traffic from those. Uh, you know, the first time I upload, um, I think the the second year one got it early, and the first person to actually upload that set, you know, I've got some insane traffic coming in, and I should have capital capitalized the opportunity a bit more back then. Um, so nowadays, it's really hard to uh, get something early um, because. Um, the uh, 
where you invest in network testing and send them all not not just you know the the flagship sets it's like lots of other things just send out very early uh, so you you don't really get the chance to uh, beat those big channels in terms of um, sharing uh, the stuff uh, unfortunately you know, I can't really fix it unless I can get this pin out but I can't get it out uh, that's really sad I'm not going to cry but <laughs> uh, it's gonna irritate me damn it anyway um yeah so that that's definitely part party and uh, this is actually a smaller version of the bigger set um with a similar build but it's the bigger version um, so the proportion is a bit off but it's pretty much inside there's a cage this that's why there's a lock that can lock a character or a minifigure or your favorite um minifigure <laughs> lock them in don't let them out until they break um yeah so unbelievably it's taking me so much time and i keep struggling to find the pieces that i need uh yeah looks like it will take another day to <laughs> finish but i'm not going to do well it depends on what happens tomorrow um as always it's unlikely that um i will build something on boxing day because on, on boxing day i also want to spend the day just to tidy up the room a little bit more um now it's the wing lots of small parts again uh, it shouldn't take that long to be honest i think i just uh paused too much building <laughs> on uh, talking that often happens because i think if i just fully concentrate in building this i think it will be quite quick but unfortunately it's uh it can be off time. Mm. Yeah, um, there are quite quite a few dream set that I won uh, in the 2014 wave. Um, basically, this one with the white, uh, it's a similar looking thing. It's not treehouse, but I think it's a temple of sorts. There's some very interesting mini figures in there as well. Um, that 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 set is around I think hundred and forty New Zealand dollars. So yeah, it's just because next year the the budget, right? Uh, and I bought it the wrong way. Damage. Ah it's not happening. Anyway, um, yeah, so the, the, the sets that I'm very interesting to, interested to, to, to buy, uh, but just don't think budget wise, unless I really sell quite a few of my sets, otherwise, I just have to uh, wait for the parts to be available on Pick a Brick to uh, just buy the mini figures. I mean the set looks nice but it's not like hey you know must have there's actually nothing must have and also I think early next year the the, uh, the new round of the Bricklink design and program is taking order um, those are really rare I did order or, or bought um, one from the previous two rounds. I haven't opened those yet. Um, 
because those one you only get the electronic uh, instructions um, but those are going to be quite expensive uh, there, there's probably a few of them that I really want but well can't afford um, it's not just about kind of thought though it's also this you know not enough space as well um, even I don't feel it there's not enough space uh, why this is so difficult it's supposed to be fairly easy and just push it in but it's not as easy as I thought anyway Finally, I got it in. Yeah, so those uh, Breckling Designer programs, I have to uh, skip. Because it's going to take like, you know, five, six hundred dollars per one, right? And there's like two or three that I won, and which means that it will be another like thousand dollars, which I really don't have. And I still have sets that uh, I haven't bought. I haven't bought yet. Uh, like the Rivendell, the Ninjago supermarkets, you know, the Pac Man, um, Viking Village, like a couple of really, really cool sets that I need to prioritize before I, you know, go on to, uh, something new. And this is how it looks, uh, it looks pretty cool. But it doesn't have a neck, so it's kind, kind, Kind of awkward in terms of posing. Um, I think it's just because of the, the size of it, um, but it's still interesting enough. So this is back ten. So yeah, from where did I go to the Brickling Designing Program? But anyway, yeah, those one will skip, and you know, other set that I want to prioritize. Uh, that's pretty much it so moving into uh back 11 this is the the point where they say hey you know you you do have two options hey if you want the uh, let me just move things along uh, so here i can show you so there's two options if you want to go this option continue with 254 page 254 if you want to have this variant and you go to 294. Uh, my, the idea and my plan is to build a default version. So, um, the thing is, the one with 254, let's just check the uh, package. Yes, so we'll continue with 254 so I can build the, uh, the default configurations. And let's back 11. All right. You can see the the other version is a bit more um aggressive. because uh, I I like building. Uh, I don't like you know battling stuff. And things. I don't really look, look like shooters and things. I I want it to look nice and able to uh display stuff. And then build the default configuration, which you know the the individual compartment will be based on uh, well not attacking um, <laughs> I would say use the word dormant um, we'll see how it goes it should be quick should be quick anyway um yeah so which way is supposed to face so i think it's facing this is outside so i'm gonna do it this way it doesn't really matter to be honest uh, but hey that's who i am like it or not <laughs> so let's just uh, focus on getting this build. so i think these are things that we can connect to, to the side of the tree um, so quite a few um, windows pieces and those are neon yellow color I mean, it's gonna look pretty cool to be honest 
always love these uh, transparent pieces. Uh, I don't have any idea on how I can create something from it, but it always looks really nice. Um, but the plastic kind of feels different to the solid one. Uh, is it easier to break? I don't know. I never end up in a situation where the, the leather bricks will break. Anyway, and then just applying the window again because always just need to see like getting the right direction. It doesn't really matter. It's just you know, the two types of Lego builder. One is just more casual and don't care about me. I really need everything in the same direction. I found just how it's gonna give me a lot of uh, nightmare. <laughs> there are lots of windows on on that set. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a a long, long, long process to build this. But first, I need to uh, buy that set first, and that set is like eight hundred and thirty-nine US dollars. Um, hopefully, it will be available <laughs> in the next twenty-four months, so I can uh, sort out the money to to get that. Um, we'll see. Is uh, the the worst case? Oh, actually, this is actually front facing. I got on the direction wrong. Uh, Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to deconstruct it and rebuild it again. Um, but yeah. Um, so I think based on uh, you know the release date, when I should save money for the Rivendell first, uh, and then the Ninjago City Markets. Um, regarding some of the city sets that I want, well, you know. Some of the exclusive parts I already ordered from, you know, the brick. Although I really want that, um, the, the, the downtown the thing, because it just looks like so the sober from South Park. I really want that set, to be honest, but somehow that set is like over $300 for a CD set. So even with like, or deals with 25, 30% discount, it's still around like $200. Um, that's not easy if I've got other priorities. Um, hopefully, um, if I able to sell um, some of my rare sets that I have double up, then it should uh, fund my purchases. Um, Problem is, it's not easy to sell Lego set in New Zealand. I don't know how people manage to sell the stuff. It's like, I mean, definitely if I put a one dollar reserve, right, it will sell. But you know, that's not the point. I'm not trying to get rid of things. I'm trying, you know, even I'm I'm not going to like charge ridiculous price. You know, to set slightly cheaper than market price. Um, but I don't want to. Make a loss for it, right? Because you know, I'd rather just open it up and do something else with it than selling you know, the set in in a ridiculous price. So yeah, um, but it's really hard to sell um, Lego in New Zealand. Like maybe it's just me, um, but it's like the 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 listing, like people viewing it, but Nobody is interested. The other thing is just the uh, shipping is, you know, I can't really target international buyers. Nobody will <laughs> pay the shippings and I can't guarantee, you know, there's no damage and the delivery time. Um, if I go those like big service, this is beyond my control, right? And basically, I can't do refund um, and lots of other stuff and it put me in a very difficult position um, if there's any dispute. 
worst case, right? It's like you're sending overseas, so it's not like you know within the same country um, that there's some way that you could <laughs> deal with all the returns and things. Living in a time demand, so it's more like, hey, you know, if you send out, you know, people might might just make a claim and say, oh, it's not what they bought, and you 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 lose the goods. And also you lose the uh, money as well, so it's not worth it. It's not something worth taking the risk for. And the other day, it's just you know hobby, right? Um, you don't want to want the hobby to be uh, something that is bothering you. And ah. Uh, why make it so difficult, man? This is the thing that, you know, when it happens, it's like, yeah, probably, you know, some of the steps could have improved, like, it's, yeah. It's not bound to happen. But anyway, so far, you know, the set is still enjoyable and looks good, so. I'm okay with that. Just a couple of things kind of annoying. And then there's another stickers. So this is easy room because the stickers you know, have the name easy on it. And uh, I think I'm doing okay uh, in this back right now and yeah hopefully I can get this finished can I get the finish though just two more back what was the time now let me just check what was the time 1041 1041 I mean you know there's no work tomorrow but I still have to get up quite early just because of the you know, kids and stuff. And this is again, it's really easy to break because it, you, you need to kind of squeeze in. Oh. Okay. Look, looking pretty good. Um, it's just not, not as simple as just plug it in. Like you need to get aligned properly. Um, but well, sometimes this happened. Um, but yeah, I, I think maybe it's just it's just me. Maybe you know, if you also bought the set, do let me know <laughs> if you run into the same issues. Um, I I really don't like having you try to build something and just apply a little bit more pressure and things. Breaks apart, um, because usually it's just not one time, but a few times. Maybe it's on me that you know I can't control my strength. Um, but well, I think Lego should have make it a little bit more easier, given that this is not a eighteen plus set. It's funny how they use the whole 18 plus uh, essay marketing too. And some of the set is like, nah, it's never be 18 plus. Some, some of the set is, uh, you know, especially some of those um, gift with purchase, they use the 18 plus uh, packaging. It's absolutely not an 18 plus set. And uh, did I got something wrong? No. Then how do I do it? What? Oh, okay. I got the uh, diamond on on the wrong end. So oh, I'm like the instruction as well. No, I just apply it incorrectly. So. Okay. 
that it? Is that it? Is that it? Okay, looks like it is. You know, these are quite modular, so you can remove the roof quite easily. But I wish uh, each segment is also um, appears the same, but well, you know, some, sometimes it baffles me on some of the in like the consistency. Um, yeah, it makes no sense sometimes. Um, I think the only way to make sense is it, trying try to get a job in, in Lego and you know, you understand the process uh, on how, how it works. Um, you know, one thing is about you know, when to use stickers, when when you get printed. Uh, anyway, you know, I'm building the Badoo now because. I'm not sure if you have been collecting um, the Lego collectible minifigures um, because at one point they have the, um, the new balloon piece. It's actually a pretty nice piece to be honest, but only available or it was only used in the collectible minifigures. Uh, it was never um, used in any other sets, but I think it's to do with the cost. Uh, probably this this one big mold. Um, yeah, so this one appears to be on this side. So I just need to uh, get it or just clip it on onto the side of this. Um, so yeah, so this. Oh, you see what happened? Try to clip it. On. Ah, just because I didn't align properly, and now the this thing kind of falls apart. So, you know, one of the challenge of this set is some of the parts, right? It doesn't give you much area for you to hold on to it. So, yeah, you just have to take extra care when you kind of. Put things onto it, and then we move on to uh, that trail. Yep, leave me there. I think I'm moving at a uh, faster pace, uh, which is a good thing. You know, if I finish this, which also gives me a day just to clean the closer look. Um, I think everything might lines up perfectly for me. Uh, yeah, and I think I might start changing the the title of this series a little bit. Um, because the current title is like it's too simple. It's not going to help with uh, pushing um the video out. Uh, and let's see. Uh, it's quite interesting. So, if you buy two of this set, then you can build um, the other part, then you can just switch around. Uh, but in the current climate, that's a big ask to uh, <laughs> buy two of two sets, right? Um, so, once you build this, and if you want to switch the configuration, then you have to pick this out and uh, make some changes to it. Uh, but if you buy two, uh, then you can uh, have the uh, alternate view ready and then just switch around. Uh, that would be the ideal situation, but it's going to be quite expensive if you try to do it that way. Very expensive indeed. This set with that discount, well, I pay 25% off, so I'm happy with the price I pay. But let's say if you, you know, paying it full price, full price is I think 180 million dollars. Um, that's big ask. Um, yeah. Like who doesn't want you know unlimited budget, right? But, you know, 
if you have unlimited unlimited budget this nothing is going to be a problem like not space not you know the only only thing that you might have is just time is space you know sets all the other stuff if you have the money then it's problem so even rare set that's retired if you have the money you know it just you have to pay pay premium to get it uh, but you know time is something even you have money you just can't buy this you know <clears throat> you have other commitments um, so let's say if you um, if you're on your own so you don't have any anyone dependent on you and you have unlimited money then yeah the problem solved but you know how many people are actually in that position in the world right so typically we all have people depending on us um, so yeah I mean even you have the money like you can solve a space problem but you know it's not going to be resolved just overnight right because you know there will be times um, that you will have to wait is it there will be like land and stuff but you really want to live so far away from you know things that you can get to uh, that's always uh, the uh, issues. Um, this 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 size not as spacious as the other one. I mean, it's still spacious. There's some space, but it's not as easy to access. Even you remove the roof. Um, so let's see how it goes. But yeah, in terms of you know, buying multiple sets. Yeah, that's why I bought some of the duplicates uh, set now I'm trying to sell because the original oh yeah I think if I get two or three you know it's not that expensive uh, it wasn't well, it's not, it wasn't that expensive uh, and I, I was able to afford it and that's why I bought you know <clears throat> a few double up the, the plan was yeah I, I would you know it probably could be an easy modification to uh, make a bigger build but never never actually <laughs> take action on it um, I mean the price kind of increased now if I can liquidate those that will be quite helpful um, but yeah as I mentioned just a moment ago it's not easy anyway ah I really wish um, they release a much more detailed version of this I mean I can try to modify myself but I wouldn't have enough parts um, yeah I think it's gonna be really really cool if you actually have a you know fully enclosed and a set that you can look at you know 360 degrees that is a big ass though. Cause then it's you know it's not just two set like you put like two plus alpha, and, and time needed to figure some of the parts out. Um, you know it's going to be a really really expensive set if if Lego try to uh, make that officially. Did I miss something? Yes, I did. That's why I thought, hey, things doesn't add up, and I miss a brick. Yeah. It's always the mistake, always the mistake. Let me just check my mic. It's still green, so there's still um battery. Yeah, I still record that time, eh? Like I had the most genuine reaction on something really cool. And some really good talk. And the mic just gone. <laughs> That was, uh, I'm still sad about it. But, well, what else I can do, right? I, I can only be more careful. 
as I mentioned before, it's like, hey, you know, the talk's gone because I don't keep a transcript. I even struggle, like, you know, for, yeah, I recorded some clip that I, I think it will be fairly interesting just to clip it out and get the long video a bit more exposure, right? But always takes time for me to uh, find the right segment because I just, you know, after this, right, I probably forgot the exact, I kind of have an idea on what really where they are, but, you know, I can't pinpoint to it. So I actually end up, you know, taking more time trying to, um, Find it, find those. Uh, good. And yeah. Anyway, so far, so good. I, I like the color scheme. I think it's a really cool scheme and fit perfectly with uh, this character here. Um, and it's not that complex as well, so it's fairly straightforward. Fairly straightforward. I think since I only have one more bag left, I think I will just carry on and finish building it today. Um, you know the the best part of this set, right? I, I really like some of the um, decoration, the logos, the way that they build. You know, um, some areas. I think those are. Uh, very interesting. Um, let's say if you have an idea to have a huge, like metropolis type building, right? And you want to add some neon effects into it. And I think, you know, there's some very cool uh, design techniques to use um, to create, you know, those architectures. Um, if you're into, you know, building. Your own creations, and this is Matteo's tree house. It's a very, very, very small tree house. Um, but anyway, this sticker is just a little bit harder to apply because it's a bit longer. And I think I got the angle slightly wrong. At least I didn't get the uh, air bubble or the uh, the line. The folder line like I did with the uh, Hocus Pocus set, so at least uh, that's better. Um, yeah, let's just quickly get through this. I'm trying my best, uh, but it's not easy. And then it's the green, transparent green. Let's uh, just have to push it all out. I think the last part is pretty small, so we'll just maybe another 15 minutes. Come on, come on. We can do it. It's all about self belief. By the way, it's not related to uh, Lego, but if you have seen the uh, English Premier League this morning, uh, the game between Liverpool and Arsenal was uh, pretty intense. It's unfortunately, you know, unfortunate that Handball didn't call out. You know, I'm not supporting either team, just watching it as neutral. Um, yeah, there's a couple of moments, it's just like, ah, I think especially for Liverpool, like that moment when uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, you know, have that, what, like, open, well, not, have that free shot, right, he blasted just a little bit too high and hit the crossbar. Um, you know, he, he's a very good passer. Um, a very good player attacking wise um, but sometimes you know that happens right uh, of course you know for me I'm not a pro football player but I always have the image like in those situations 
I think I will probably won't go for power since I want to like maybe chip it or just uh, place it uh, to to the top corner or something like that or curve it around the keeper. But of course, it's actually pretty hard. Like you need um, you know composure and lots of things to actually make that happen. Um, so yes, it's not easy, but you know. I have that image. I'm not saying that I can, uh, you know, <laughs> execute. Um, you know, when 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 given the same chance. But yeah, that was a pretty good game. Um, it's a good way to kick off the morning. Um, this is the roof. I'm just place up there. Um, Yeah, and just this one, and then just a few more exterior decoration, and that would be it for the sections here. And I think I just skip another step. Uh, I wonder how it's gonna go with you know some of the. New sets that I ordered, and to be honest, after this, I'm not sure which one that I'm gonna build. I do want to build the uh, Arctic Explorer ship because I just want to get the killer whale out, but I don't want to end up in a situation where I just grab something out and the big set just uh, lie there waiting for it to build. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And, oh, this is quite an interesting way for the, uh, the shade. And that's it, I think. Oh no, not yet. Of course, this is uh, a tile shooter, right? And need to uh, load it up. I actually quite like the tile shooter compared to stud shooter. I like this one more. And, and looks much more like a futuristic uh, weapon and it will just shoot up and this one will be on this side so I just need to be careful on putting that in I think is it slightly towards the inside or outside I think it's slightly toward the inside, so like just right here. Yeah, so it's a bit hard to align it, and uh, really, there's no point for you to uh, hold it. So, okay, I think it's secure now. So, it's on this side, and then I think just one more on on top, and then it's pretty much done. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to. To construct and build the other one even in the upcoming uh, in-depth review on this particular set i don't think i will you know review um the, the outer build except maybe just briefly talk through uh, the, the instructions that we are the final back um, it's always feel good that you know you're about to finish a, a set. This is not a big set, but I'm glad I kind of <laughs> film the building uh, in this setup because I think it would be a pain for me to uh, like film it just focusing on individual parts, the, the whole building, and and make a speed build video of it. Uh, Content wise, it probably will be a good content. <laughs> For me, you know, that's gonna hurt my back really bad, right? Um, so, if I film those videos, I want to have the white background so I don't have things set up at the right height. So, it's like I will have to sit on the floor to do and adjust the camera. Uh, that's, yeah, that's not fun to be honest, but actually. 
quite demanding physically um, and and I have to deal like upstairs without you know heat pump and air con right it's gonna be a nightmare and it's gonna be very very hot just to uh, sit down then and have door closed and you know kind of build that way so I'm glad <laughs> I didn't take that route um, but maybe the viewers would like me to take that route because it's always good to to see you know someone else suffer right I'm not saying that people are mean but typically there are lots more novelties <laughs> when watching people in pain not that I, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting it but that's just how things work sometimes in this world I don't agree to it because you shouldn't you know enjoy you know people or watching people suffering um, is that not nice you need to be kind to people right uh, but also be sensible on what you mean by be kind right um, anyway totally off topic let's just focus on getting this set built um, I'm leaning nearly the so nearly I miss something again <laughs> just look at, at the instruction and I realize that I, I skip one step and yeah uh, and I need to look for piece which is right here which is good uh, just need to have this push down into the gap here So this one doesn't have a roof, so say open top balcony type field. And then uh, some of the stuff is again it's hard to uh, push it through just because you know it's not quite secure on, on the place where you really want to apply the pressure. To be honest, this type of situation is not that common, I think. It's just more common in this particular set. But anyway, got the tile that I need to put on, um, and it's a really really small um, balcony. It's a really small area, and uh, I'm really struggling um, to do small things lately. Maybe at some point I need to retire <laughs> from building. The thing is, right, if I don't build it myself. Um, sometimes you know it's hard to get the or communicate the proper feedback you know if I ask say you know my wife to help then you know I can just look at the finished product and, and, and appreciate it and kind of express how I feel about it but I wasn't able to um, you know discover some of the things that is you know hidden or describe the uh, building experience. Those are, those are quite important at times. Not not that always important, but you know sometimes, especially you know when you you know get a set that is around this size or even bigger, then the building experience becomes so important um, because if you a building like you know a few thousand pieces you really don't you know want to have um what, what should i say you know a boring building experience where you will end up in a situation that you feel hey nothing is gonna finish something um so it's an awkward angle hopefully i got it right because if I mess it up, then there will be a problem. That's why I don't like you know, circle stickers. This is so hard to uh, get it right. Um, and then you just push it here. Okay. Okay. 
I think it looks okay, but maybe it's not looking the right way. I think I got it slightly too tuted. I think, oh no, I think I might just got it right. Anyway, anyway, just get this finished. Just a few more pieces to go. Um, and then, you know, and strings. <laughs> and somehow, you know, this video when I published it was already Christmas. Well, at least in my region. Uh, for those that in the other side of the world, it's probably still Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And I'm building the, <coughs> the stove. Anyway, I'm getting there soon. Okay, what? How does it work? Oh, okay, there's another disc shooter. Uh, okay, so here is the trigger. So if you put a wet towel here, you can use it to uh, shoot it out. Anyway, it's actually shooting up rather than shooting. Okay, so there's a quite interesting way to connect stuff. Uh, so, okay, so it's like this, it shoot up like this. I'm not going to go to demonstrate now because I think if I look at this and shoot it out, it will hit my head, right? Um, you might say, hey, you should do it, but why? Why I should do it? I don't want to do that. Because if, if you want want to make something fail, right, you have to be genuine. You can't just, you know, make something up and say, hey, this is my reaction. Because people can tell whether it's true or not. And unfortunately, something dropped. Ah, one of the four. Get it. Ah, I'm getting a bit sleepy now. Uh, it's good. I think it's nearly done. I'm just take a sip of water. Okay, so I think it's done. I just need to clip it at the right place. Uh, so it's here. Let's move towards this. So oh, I think that's it. This is the uh, fantastical tree house. I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking set, and going to do a much more in depth um, look or detail look on this set in upcoming days. And before we close out, let's just take a look at the uh, the uh, instruction booklet. So. Pretty much the alternate view is you know, the position will swap around, but this one is much more you know attacking mind. Uh, still very similar though. Well, not not exactly. You know that the way things feel is slightly different, but you've got much more. Yeah, you've got some more shooters. Um, in the uh, various look, but I probably much more prefer on this because I think this one looks nicer. I don't really want to have things uh, stick out. Um, I think I just ran out of the camera thing. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's it. Hopefully, I can find time to do a you know much more in depth look at this set in the next few days. And uh, tomorrow is Christmas. So I'm gonna take. Probably take a day off from 
building Lego or doing Lego stuff and uh, enjoy time with family and you know chill out in the evening and uh, that's it and yeah and hope everyone Merry Christmas and a nice holiday period and then uh, we'll see you again very soon.